G'day everyone, how are you going? Declan from El Ross here. Uh, today we've got probably the biggest caravan that we've ever built out of the shed so far at El Ross. Um, this is an ECS model, so it's our semi-off-road van. We haven't featured too many um, semi-off-road vans uh, on the channel. That's just because they don't come up too often. Uh, this is a prime example of someone that wants to live in their van, so it's quite a large van. Um, and being on the semi-off-road uh, platform, they didn't want to the need to, to have uh, uh, the off-road capability as this one is gonna be used mainly to just go around onto farms um, and farm stays and stuff like that for their business. Um, however, uh, unfortunately, this customer has got a semi-off-roader, but as you can see, they've uh, spec'd it up with nearly every single foreseeable option that you can get even including on the ECX so just be wary that if you're trying to disseminate which way to go you can go the semi off-road option but quite often a lot of people end up specking up options in there and the price gets to be roughly similar so this van with all the features that you see uh, on the outside and on the inside of the van this van's come to a total of just over $140,000 uh, so it's still not a cheap route going there semi off-road uh, Van if that's what you're looking for, but mainly this van has necessitated changes such as being a 24 foot van We've had to run um, Cruise Masters XT airbag because we wanted to get a 4.4 ton rating uh, This van has a tear weight of 3030 so it's not a light uh, beast by any means so hence the reason why we've run the 4.4 um, ton uh, suspension system under there by Cruise Master, just because it helps us out um, with allowing for a larger payload. Uh, now this customer's got an appropriate tow vehicle, so that's not so much of an issue. We've got a Dometic um, slide out kitchen. Of course you can option um, our own version. So if you do email us, make sure you ask about our Elros uh, slide out kitchen option. We've also fitted a Mike Coleman um, fridge there for the customer as well. Um, when you do fit these style of fridges, please be aware that you will receive a higher bed as a result of that. So just factor that in um, when you're looking at things like this. Also with the semi off-road platform where it varies from our ECX model is we have um, just face fit um, plastic picnic tables all of our storage doors are all prefabricated items, so they're not our in-house design. Um, and this is all to try and reduce cost. Um, so we'll take a quick whip around the outside of the van on the other side, just so you can have a bit of a walk around. Now this customer's also fitted things like a RUT 360 uh, Wi-Fi router. We've also gone for a Selfie Go system as well. Um, being remote and on the farms, it's really important for the customers um, to make sure that they've still got um, the appropriate um, connectivity. Um, we've only gone for two water tanks on this because standard is um, only one water tank on the semi off road um, van, but they've optioned up a second tank just for a bit of um, extra water holding, um, and then they've also optioned a, a high. 1200 by 300 Dometic window um, in their bedroom uh, just because they wanted to have a little bit more privacy in their bedroom. So these are all small little features that we can tweak here at Elros that makes us different from a lot of other manufacturers. Um, on the semi off-road van as well, you do not receive a uh, toolbox as standard so you have to option that up as well as well as a stone guard. Um, so yeah, so that's just more of the small differences and variances that you see from the ECX to the um, to the ECS model as well. So um, that about wraps it up on the outside. Um, so we'll just take you now for a tour on the inside. So as we come up inside the van, um, the first thing that you will notice is there's no shortage of room, space, um, plenty of storage uh, solutions as well. And you will notice these beautiful Lazy Boy recliners. Very, very comfy. 
Uh, obviously not everyone's uh, preference for a seating arrangement. You can certainly have a club lounge at the back here, but this was one of the main reasons that the customers decided to build with us as they were looking for the ability to have something a bit different down the back here. Um, this van is also fitted with our off-grid package, um, which is not even an option that's normally available on our ECS range. Um, so we've specially designed this system for the van for the type of work that they were, were going to be doing. Um, so it is fitted with 400 amps of lithium. Uh, it is also fitted with a 3000 watt um, Red Arc inverter. Um, obviously a Red Arc BMS management system to manage all of that sort of stuff and also our mains changeover switch as well. So we've already just walked around the outside of the van. There's no power plugged in uh, and we can just uh, turn the aircon on. There you go. So aircon's on, aircon's running. We're totally running off the battery system. We're also running an induction cooktop. So customers can do most of their living outside. Um, so that's a beautiful option to go for um, if you're not going to be in this space or zone too often. You want to do small things. I will turn the aircon off because it will be quite loud in the video. And we do get a lot of complaints about music and whatnot in the videos, so you can hear what I'm actually saying. Um, Bushman uh, 280 litre option fridge in here. Um, the Bushman 280 is no longer available, so we're just fitting our last units now. So the new specification uh, Bushman is going to be a 230 litre fridge. Um, so definitely ask us about that if you'd like to see an upgrade in terms of a fridge in your Elros caravan. Um, and certainly with this layout as well, is very, very different that you'd see from, from most other vehicles. So for example, just down in here, we've got our washing machine. So the washing machine is just located down here. This is totally the, the customer's request to have this fitted down here. So we've done that for them there. Bit of extra space as well to store a few things. Um, as we move through, um, this is our ensuite. Now the great thing about this style of layout is you actually gain three living spaces. So you've got your bedroom, that's then separated with your ensuite, that's then separated to your living space. So for people where they might be working shift work or you're just a really early riser and, and your partner's a, a late night owl. This is the perfect kind of setup where it facilitates everyone's needs. So um, yeah, definitely ask us about a, a doing a centre ensuite. Centre ensuites work well from a, a 20 foot to this size here, 24 foot. Um, you'll really struggle on any other size van to make this sort of um, layout possible. So that's what narrows that sort of um, sizing down. Just going for a chemical toilet, um, a nice, nice sized vanity. Um, so you can um, have plenty of space to get changed and, and all that stuff in here. Now the big section is up here um, into the bedroom, quite unique, east west bed. And then you've got a 32 inch uh, Hisense TV over here on the wall as well. This is all hooked up to a HDMI system because the customer's going to be running a Foxtel in here as well. So um, we've pre-run all of the HDMI outputs right the way through the van. Um, they're also running a caravan, which is not normally something that we will put in a, an ECS semi-off-road, but it is available as an option nonetheless. Um, and then obviously the most obvious thing all the way along here is the amount of wardrobe space you've got here. So which um, I'm sure the female variety will quite enjoy. There might be some men out there as well, um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, moving on, um, we'll come back out, just have a quick look at the shower. Um, this one's a giant shower, it's a, it's a 12 by 900 shower, so you've got more than enough room. Bit of um, footstool space. And that pretty much completes our tour of the van. Um, if you'd like more information, uh, if you'd like to see more ECX videos and, and whatnot, just jump onto our YouTube, have a look around, um, get in contact with our admin if you've got any questions, queries. Uh, we've got all of our brochures um, online and on the website. It's for you to access and download. You just need to leave your email address um, and some contact details there and you can um, get all the information you need. If you'd like a quote, um, yeah, please give us a call. 9356 6153
area code is 08. So if you're interstate, um, we're in Perth. So you need to make sure that you um, dial that 08 code. Um, apart from that, we'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Okay. East West Bay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, is the amount of wardrobe space you've got here. So for all the ladies out here, Of course, you're looking from. Ah, looks. Hey guys, how you going? Start that again.